Hey Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clive's MTG. We're back on a Sunday night. We just got back from Magic 30. Just got off the plane, sorted a bunch of cards, got my stuff together, cleaned out my bag. Woof boy, it's been a rough one. So, uh, been gone since Thursday. We are back and we'll be back at it, hard at it again, starting this Monday. So, uh, I'll post this the very first thing Monday morning. I do have to go to work, but I will start making some preview videos for all the cars that are being previewed as they come out so I can start get caught back up. Uh, so be on the watch out for those. In this video, I'd like to go over some of the things that I found at Magic 30 and the things that I brought home. Uh, with a later video, I will also discuss how things at Magic 30 went what were the weird things, what were the things I would change, and the overall perspective of it. So, with that said, uh, as you know, I went as a Sapphire, which means I got this for free. So we'll open these on the channel eventually. That'll be cool. Hopefully there's a uh, Lost Legend here, and who knows what'll be in this thing. Uh, also got... Two cards, the Richard Garfield PhD 30 and the Arcane Signet. So, cards very nice. It's not bent or anything. Now, with that being said, lots of people complained. Uh, they were handing out these, uh, these packages in a bag and a lot of the cards came bent. You had to go back and get another one. Um, so, hey, my boy Oko. Uh, so that was kind of a drag. Luckily mine weren't. I did check them before I left because let's just say when they handed the bag to me and kind of threw it on the table, I was not impressed with how they handled it. Um, yeah, they need to probably go with somebody else next time. Anyway, next we have the Arcane Signet. Very nice. It is, uh, appears to be an etched foil. And because it's etched, there is no warping. I'm not going to lie, it's very cool and very pretty. Almost looks like the uh, Infinity Gauntlet, if I'm not going to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, very sweet. So that's the stuff that came in my bag. Uh, while out there, we'll go ahead and uh, do some free advertising. Uh, just because I think these guys are pretty cool. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of Whatnot, um, it's kind of a live auction plus a place you can just buy stuff regularly. Um, I'm thinking about doing some whatnot videos and sell some packs on auction live. Uh, open them live. You tell me what you think. Um, if you can scan this thing, you get $10 off your first purchase. Um, trust me, they're everywhere. It's not just for one person. Anybody can use this thing. Um, so there's that. Uh, let me know down below what you think about whatnot. And would you uh, want to be on there to watch me open some packs live and maybe bid on what's inside of them before I open them? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, the cool thing that they did was uh, they handed out some cards. Uh, so every day they had a wheel to spin if you had a Whatnot account. Uh, and for two days, I got two Unfinity Collector Boosters. It was pretty sweet. So like got, getting these free are just fantastic. I really hope I get some Galaxy Foils out of this. Um, yeah, so this got me excited. Uh, also, as you guys know... Excuse me. Um, I went and I did a... Um, oh, goodness. Uh, kind of a uh, survey, if you will, for Magic over some stuff. Uh, it took about an hour after it was over. Uh, I get 100 bucks, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, and I got another free collector booster. So that was sweet. And then I played some, played some sealed, you know, got me a draft booster. Uh, give me a second here. Okay, I'm back. So I bought me a draft booster. Sorry, I, what, what not gave me this once. I got one for, I knew those numbers are wrong. I got one for the survey. Uh, I got one and a draft pack um, from the two games, tournaments I played. Um, I'm not going to lie. The prize wall is pretty uh, underwhelming. Um, it's almost like you don't want to play anymore just because the prizes kind of suck. But anyway, uh, the other time they gave me, I didn't win a collector pack, unfortunately, but I did get uh, a fresh Dominaria box topper, uh, which came with a Commander Legends 
set booster. So very interesting. I, I don't know why this is. I thought this was going to be a Dominaria pack set boosters. I was excited. Not that I'm not excited about this because this could have a dragon in it worth just as much money, but very interesting. So that might be something that we uh, view on, open on whatnot or something. See how that goes. Um, so lots of other stuff was going on while I was there. Uh, one of the things I'd like to talk about is this. So these are the mystery pin packs. I got a couple of them. $15 a piece. Uh, you can get several pins. This is a Hell, Hellkite, I think. The Maw Hellkite. Uh, I got the Emrakul. I don't know what this one is. But here's the other ones that actually shows that are actually there and the pin. You can collect all nine. Um, so kind of cool. Uh, to give you an idea of what else was there. Um, Ones you could just buy was like this one here, which is an Ornithopter. It's kind of cool how it comes with this little, almost like it's a magic card. And as you can see, it's a pretty big enamel pin. Uh, but I still think it's going to have some value. You know, it says Magic 30 on it. And then this one here is just so pretty. This is the Dark Side Extortionist. I mean, look at that. Is that not just badass? Like, man. I mean, it's even got what would normally be the foil on it. So that's really cool. So, and then there were some more too. Let me, uh, these other ones, uh, you got them from buying stuff where you could buy them at certain booths. There was a Kenrith, which was really cool. I like that. Uh, that's a dock side. Oh, here's another one of my favorite ones an Avacyn. I thought this one was amazing. I mean, look at that. It's almost like the whole Averson picture. Like, that is just beautiful. That was Bible. All these were 15 bucks, so it was really cool. Uh, the last couple uh, you could buy was Teferi, the Mage. Not all that great. I mean, Teferi's cool and all, but I'd rather see a Planeswalker, to be honest with you. Uh, and then we had Olivia Valderin. Again, very nice, very sexy. So... Those are cool. I think those are worth a little bit of money, a little bit of collectability in them. Uh, one thing I bought from one of the artists, this is the artist, uh, Potter Walpool. Great guy. It was really cool when I talked to him. Uh, these are artist proofs that he had for sale. Um, if you guys don't know, artist proofs means there's no backs on them. But these are the foil versions of the artist proof, which Wizards gave him. Um, and as you can see, he signed every one of them for me. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. I'm going to find a frame to put them in and I'm going to frame these up. Uh, I honestly bought these. Yeah, I could have brought the secret layer a lot cheaper, but I wanted something more special than a secret layer because I plan on opening it. Uh, because I just love the old D&D &D stuff. Just, I remember watching this every day when I was growing up and yeah, it's just too cool. So I really can't wait to, and when I get done, I'll, I'll show you guys. Once I get this mounted and framed up in a picture frame, uh, I'm going to try to do it myself, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, tell me what you guys think. Um, yeah, I'll give that a try. We'll see how that goes. Project for later. Now, I bought two things there that were actual clothes. The first was this hoodie. If you guys haven't seen this hoodie... It's got Demonic Tutor on the back of it. It's very nice. I've tried it on on the front of it. You know, it's got the magic symbol. It's all nice and white. It's a pullover. Uh, the arm has one thing on it. It looks like that for whatever that means. It looks like a bunch of uh, headstones, maybe. So... Obviously there, you can see the the link in there. I, it was like, this was like 55 bucks. I think this is probably one of the best pullovers I've got and it's going to be in my collection for a very long time. I like it a lot. The only other shirt that I bought was this one. And here's why. This is a jersey style shirt. All the other shirts were silk screened and I cannot stand to be able to feel the silk screen on my shirt. It feels like it's bunching in my shirt and, and what have you. So I'm, I'm very picky about my shirts. 
This one in particular, though, is not silk screen. It's embroidered. Uh, this isn't silk screen. Like I said, it's a jersey. Um, on the back of it, um, I'll open it up later. On the back of this, it says 30. Uh, it's got red sleeves. It's really nice shirt. I like it a lot. You guys can go see it on their on their merch store. Um, I forgot how much I paid for this, uh, but it was really the only shirt that wasn't silk screen. There was other shirts I liked. There was lightning bolts and so forth, but again, I don't like how silk screening feels. So yeah, just eh. But at least I found one shirt I like. And then of course I forgot to show you guys this. You know, there's the basic Magic 30 play mat uh, for what it's worth. Um, yeah, and it is what it is. It's your basic play mat. Not real impressed with it, but who knows? Maybe I'll put it up for sale somewhere at some time, somehow. So there you have it, guys. That's pretty much my whole haul from Magic 30. Uh, after I finally got sat down, got everything cleaned up to the best of my ability. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have to see from there. Um, and to be honest with you, I really think we're going to have to go back to doing pack attacks again. And maybe we'll start with this one. Because... Why not? I don't think anybody's going to buy it. And these collector boosters, mystery boosters, I don't think they're going to do too good on a pack attack because there's going to be a whole lot of going through them. But man, they could be sweet. So, with that said, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'm glad to be back. Glad to be home. Can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow. And as always, remember, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comments down below. We're going to feed the YouTube algorithm. There's a link in the description to the eBay store. Patreon, which I'm probably going to get rid of for whatnot because it's just not working for me. Uh, email and sub up. If you've already subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, just one little click will mean a lot for me. Thanks a lot, guys. Until next time, be kind. And I hope to see you, or did see you, across from the game table at Magic 30. Later.